Hey guys, what's up? This is Zimmy and Basis, and I am doing a special um, kids show, well, kids TV game show. Um, it has nothing to do with Nickelodeon or anything like that. I'm going to put that in my specials for like the TV sitcom and stuff like that. I am doing... Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Now, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Basically, it somewhat refers off to like the cartoon, like where in time is Carmen San Diego and where on Earth. So basically, uh, the world just basically is the live action, while the other two are the cartoon TV shows, of course. Okay, so basically, um, it starts off with two people, the chief, uh, who's basically the person who tells everybody everything. She's the person who runs the Acme Corporation place where they try to catch Carmen. Um, and also, um, Greg Lee is kind of like the second host. He basically does everything like read and everything. And then, of course, you have the, um, the weird guys who like act out and sing and all that stuff. I think they're called the Rockapella, if I'm wrong, but, um, but yeah, they're, uh, the people who sing and do like all the funny stuff. Anyways, <clears throat> so basically you have three kids come in. They're known as, I think, gumshoes? I don't know why they call them gumshoes. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry if I pause there just for a second. It's just a little weird to me. Uh, <clears throat> but the whole gum shoe thing. Alright, anyways. So basically you have um, two different rounds. Basically round one where they basically just int like introduce and then they show like today's crook. And then you have to watch like a series of videos and like try to figure out the clues and stuff. And then you have a lightning round, basically where um, the chief gives you a brief description of the clues and stuff. And then you have to like answer the questions and all that stuff. And then um, and then you get the phone tap, basically, where it's like where Carmen's talking to her um, part of her posse or gang, whatever. And then you have to answer more questions. And then you have the chase, the final clue, which the uh, Rockapella basically acts it out and does some weird crap. And, um, yeah, you have to answer more questions. And then round two, basically, well, you get the idea. Just more questions and, like, a photo stuff. Well, it's more questions, but more like you, like, try to figure out where the person is hiding and stuff. And the final round, basically, is, like, where a kid... Um, okay, so basically, <clears throat> is where, um, where you take, like, a big pole and, like, there's, like, sirens on top. You have to basically, like, the chief will tell you where Carmen has been. You have to get eight places, and you have to place all eight of the, like, siren poles on there. And, um, pretty much if you win, you get a vacation... And pretty much you get prizes after that and then everything else. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, Carmen San Diego, nobody knows why it was canceled, but it was probably because it was either lost the funding or viewers, probably. Which um, probably could be the reason why, but. Um, yeah, it could be either one of those, probably because of lots of funding, maybe because um, the company wasn't making enough money because of PBS, or probably viewers because the viewers probably didn't get, you know, didn't like it anymore or anything like that. So, um, okay. Now, what would happen if they brought back Car in San Diego, or how, if they did bring it back, how would it keep going? Okay. Now, there's some sad news to this. The person who played the chief, um, Lynn Thigpen, died in 2003. <clears throat> she died of, um, 
cerebral hemorrhage. So basically her heart and brain were bad. And so it'd be kind of hard to do the show, but like I'm saying, you could probably reamp the show, bring back the Rockapella, and bring back Greg Lee. And make it more harder and more exciting, you know, since it's, well, 2000s, it's going to be better. And, um, if Len Thigpen had, like, a sister or maybe, um, a daughter or relative or something that could probably fill in, that'd be great. Or maybe they could find somebody, excuse me, somebody else. I mean, that would be pretty cool. Um... Now, of course, they could do things a little bit differently, like instead of like the sirens and stuff, maybe like, um, play like a 3D virtual game of like where they try to find Carmen and like where she's running from. You could be like, she's running in there or something like that, you know, instead of just running back and forth, you know, something like that. Um, but just a suggestion, but yeah, just bringing back Greg Lee and hopefully the Rockapella and, um, a whole bunch of others, so. Alright guys, this is MEM Basis, just to sum it up, where in the world is Carmen Sandiego's basically a game show for kids where they play, win prizes, and like play like, um, basically like catch the burglar and all that stuff, and uh, yeah, like I said, just bring back Rockapella and a bunch of the other guys, and maybe find somebody to replace Lynn Thigpen that looks like her and sounds like her or pretty close to it so why right, guys this is Indian Basis I talked into or rented about where in the world is Carmen San Diego and I hope you all have a good day or night when you're watching this thank you